So this is like the worst possible weather to collect a car. That today, people, is my Ferrari SF90. I am super excited to get this car today. Um, I'm not sure which car I'm gonna now take as my favorite, my often driver, because you know, the SVJ, quite incredible. That's more of a collector's car now though. So I'm gonna like ease ease off on how much I drive it. The 812, that's like my daily supercar, but then the, the, the SF90 is also a daily supercar. So I'm gonna be interested to see what happens. Are you excited? How are you, are you pumped? Are you charged? I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be so. I, I think the car's gonna blow me away. I mean, like yeah. again, 1,000 horsepower, 1,000 PS is insane. That's an insane number. I've never had a, such a powerful car in my entire life. But um, I'm hyped. I'm charged. And I've just realised as I'm driving now, I haven't, um, I haven't bought insurance for the car, so I, I need to do that now. So I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. So uh, we've arrived at Ferrari now. I'm gonna go in and uh, fulfil my dreams. I'm so ready. Okay, so I am now in Ferrari Swindon. I'm here with my dealer. My dealer. <laughs> my, my Ferrari. Uh, my Ferrari dealer. <laughs> Tom. Tom. I've known Tom for years now. Uh, when he moved here, I said I'm going to buy a Ferrari from you. And now we're on the second one. So uh, yeah, it's uh, amazing, amazing. Tom actually car. sold off the G wagon, didn't he? he? Sold the G wagon. Yeah. That's a nice car, here. Yeah. And then you've got an F12 TDF over there in the corner. It's listed for probably like over a million. Uh, and then you've got a few other cars around here, and then I've got my, my purple sweetheart in the corner, purple Roma. I was thinking about getting this as a daily. It's very optioned out, so it's um, very, very, very expensive. Oh, hello, Holly. <laughs> How are you doing? I think this would be a perfect car to drive a baby around. Would you agree? Um. <laughs> so here's the key for the car. And I was like, also, if it was an like 80s Ferrari, definitely would have made this a cigarette lighter as well. <laughs> Smoking my Italian cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice in here. Gosh, that's how they get you to spend money. It's just showing you nice things. I keep dropping this paper. So my Ferrari journey so far has been an epic one. I picked up my 812 about three or four months ago. I got it from this gentleman here, Tom, who I met actually at Mercedes. He told me one day that he was moving to Ferrari and I was ecstatic. <laughs> so um, I said, I promise I'll get the first car from you. My first Ferrari came from Tom. It was his first, your first sale. Yeah. It was his first sale, the 812 Superfast, my blue beauty that you see in my videos. I love that car so much and I've grown to love it even more now that it's dry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to get more into the Ferrari ecosystem and I wanted to be able to look back in the future at the cars that I've owned. So I spoke to Tom and he advised me what I should be looking at. Um, he advised me on what I should want from the car and we settled on the SF90. So this is my first like crazy, 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 crazy car because it's basically a hypercar. So I'm super ecstatic. I'm excited to um, show you guys what it's like and I'm excited to drive it. It's obviously got the hybrid powertrain as well, three electric motors, two on the front axle and one on the rear. 770 horsepower from the um, twin turbocharged V8 and the remainder comes from the um, electric powertrain. So it just means that I can put around in silence and save the environment and then when I want to act like a hooligan, I can. So um, yeah, I'm next, super... Next car in the journey? Uh, I, I'm super excited for this, but the next car in my journey I'm also very excited for. Um, I wasn't going to say anything just yet, but I have ordered a Ferrari... We'll go out to Italy and then we'll finalise the spec. We'll get a really, really, really crazy spec. Um, I've got some colours in mind. Suggestions would be nice. If you have any suggestions, just drop them in the comments. But um, yeah, today's about the SF90, so let me not talk too much about the future. Uh, yeah, this car is special. This is going to be the first time Camilla's seen it in person. Ooh. And this is the first time I've seen it since... I don't know, since she last spec it. <laughs> <laughs> Since I played, so this is the first time I've seen it since playing on Forza last night and expecting one exactly the same. Okay, so I think it's time we unveil the car. <laughs> oh, that looks like sick. Nah, this is, this is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, look at the lights, man. It just looks slick and sophisticated. This looks like the future. And I guess that's what this car is. This car is the future Ferrari. All the cars now are probably going to have some form of hybrid powertrain going forward. We've got the 296 over there. This is the big brother of the 296. This is the daddy of Ferrari right now, the SF90, the most powerful series production Ferrari you can buy. And I am going to drive it all the time. I'm gonna drive it to Sainsbury's, Tesco's. I'm gonna drive it everywhere. I've got a meeting tomorrow, I'll just take this. Why not? <laughs> this is epic, wow. Wow. We've got carbon fiber down here. 
I've got shoelaces that are untied. I've got carbon fibre down here, carbon fibre in here. We have the diamond cut alloy wheels. We have the Rosso Corsa um, brake calipers, uh, Michelin Cup 2 tyres. Um, it's just, this is going to be a nuts car to drive. But what colour is it? What colour? Red. It's red. <laughs> red. You don't buy red cars. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never bought a red car in my life. But there's two reasons. I wanted a red Ferrari. I always wanted a red Ferrari just because you kind of have to. And also Operation Skittles. So all of my cars are going to be different colours of the Skittles packet. So I have green, I have blue, I have red, I have purple on the way. Um, and I have some other ones on the way, but I don't want to discuss them just yet. That, I don't like that green that just went nuts. It is an okay green, but it's not my favourite. Um, <laughs> but this, this is what I'm talking about. SF90, the future of Ferrari. Let me do my shoelace. You have to have a dry sump in these kind of cars. Oil gets thrown around everywhere. We've got some of the hybrid elements just there. This is, this is just stupendous. Gosh. Diamond cut alloy wheels, they're 20 inches on the um, SF90. And then we have also the Rosso Corsa um, brake calipers. I think it looks gorgeous. Debating through yellow and red, but I think ye red works better um, than yellow. I think a lot of people go for yellow because the yellow logo, but I think the red kind of just ties everything together well. When you see it in person, it just takes your breath away. It honestly takes your breath away. Wow. <laughs> this looks insane. <laughs> I think this, Buying this car is a very significant step in like my car owning life. Yeah. And I think, um, yeah, I didn't really have to, I didn't hesitate thinking about this. This one was kind of just like, yeah, we'll do it. It was just about getting the right numbers. Right, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think this is the perfect car. Red, it's got the nose lift, which I wanted. It's got everything I need. Um, and it's got a glove box, which I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, I love it, man. I love it. It is so surreal. Even looking like it feels a bit hazy but it's just so unbelievably surreal. I am like blown away. You should away. be so proud of yourself, Tommy. Well, that I waste money on cars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if we look at this, it comes with a PlayStation controller, apparently. No, <laughs> Ferrari display their hybrid elements in the same way they display the engine in the back and they make it a work of art. I think that looks gorgeous. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I probably would have preferred a little bit more storage space, but I'm not complaining. So this is the interior of the SF90, obviously looking at the passenger display. This is very comfortable. Went for a car with comfort seats. Um, has all the essentials you need. It's gonna take me a minute to learn everything on the wheel, but I'm excited to get stuck into everything. Um, obviously you've got your Manatino switch, your start now, your, ugh, this is just epic. I think this is just incredible. A lot of people have been very apprehensive about the direction Ferrari's going in, but it's the same way they were apprehensive when Ferrari dropped the manual. At, at the time, the purists get really like nervous. They don't know what to do because it's new. But then in 10, 15 years, people look back and say, nah, that car was amazing. And I think this is one of those cars that people are gonna look back on and say, this started the new generation of Ferrari. Um, so I'm glad to own one. I am going to drive this very often. It's basically gonna be my daily until I get another daily. But um, SF90, it's beautiful. I'll go more in depth later, but for now, I think it's time to, um, Drive it out. But before I drive off, I'm just going to take a look upstairs where they keep some of their secret collection. The sun is <laughs> perfect, so the drive home should be here, so that's exciting. Exciting? Exciting. <laughs> well, I'm ready. I'm ready, darling. Let's take in the, the, the second part of their showroom. Wow. It smells so good in here. It does. Oh, this is a um, bullet edition Mustang. So. The film Bullet really made Mustangs popular. That was a, it's an old film, so it was an older Mustang, but it's the same color. Ford decided to bring up an homage to the film Bullet with a Bullet Edition Mustang. Oh, this is cute. These are SOR cars, or cars that people have traded in to purchase Ferraris to come over to the red side. Um, or cars that, like certain Ferraris that can't fit downstairs on the showroom floor. Over there you have a Speciale. These cars went up in value incredibly. I remember I could have bought one for very cheap and I decided not to because I wasn't a big fan. So that's it, collecting my SF90. It looks gorgeous. I'm excited to drive. Um, I love that Ferrari sound. Uh, it's going to be an amazing year. <laughs>
environment. I forgot my wife, so I'm coming back to her.